My name is Frida Lara, I'm from Mexico. I did my PhD in La Paz. I'm focused on studying shark movements, how they travel between different marine reserves. Revilla Gigedo is one of the most diverse uh, places in the world for sharks. Uh, we think there are at least 14 to 20 species of sharks that are using this archipelago. So that's very important for the region because it's a connection between the mainland in Mexico, the Gulf of California, and the rest of the Eastern Tropical Pacific. The park was started in 94 when they decided that it needed to be protected. So the marine reserve started, they were protecting just nine nautical miles around each island. But before that, there were fishing boats coming from the mainland and also tuna boats coming around this area. And there are even videos of people catching sharks and mantas. So as part of Pelagios, my supervisors were working on this since 2010. They sent some of the first receivers here. And having these 10 years of information, we were able to define the connectivity between the islands and show them to the government that the sharks were not just uh, in one place. They were using the whole archipelago and when they were uh, traveling between the islands, they were unprotected. So the sharks uh, were moving and they were easily caught by, by the tuna boats. So when we showed this information to the government, they decided to expand the marine reserve and make a bigger polygon that covers the, the area between the islands. Robs comes from Australia, it's a technique to study top predators. The letters mean uh, baited remote underwater video stations. We have lines that are uh, 10 and 20 meters there, and uh, the cameras are recording for one hour and a half, and they are separate for at least 300 meters. It's a technique that allows you to study sharks or other top predators like groupers or snappers without being in the water. So that allows you to see their behaviors, their natural behaviors. And uh, in our case, uh, allows you to go to places that we normally cannot dive, like in the open ocean. Environmental DNA is a very powerful technique. So basically how it works is that you take a water sample, a liter of water, and then you come to the boat and you filter it with a very thin uh, filter that just allows to, to get the DNA, the molecules, and then you are able to uh, sequence that sample, extract the DNA, and see which species are present in that area. We have hammerheads that we recorded here in, in Socorro yesterday. We have silver tips, silkies, galapagos, and tiger sharks. I think with brobs, what you can notice is that sharks are very uh, smart. They are not as uh, like killing machines as the movie shows. They are actually very shy and curious. But uh, well, yeah, I think we still have a lot of things to learn about their environment, about their life cycles and it's very cool to be able to share it with you and to build these uh, new techniques and show that it's possible to use them for studying sharks without having to, to tag them or to take them out of the water. This area is very important for Mexico in terms of protection because I think here we are saving something that is going to change the future of our country. So if we protect the resources from here, I think we are able to have some hopes on recovering other areas. So having Cabo Pulmo as a successful marine reserve and Revilla Gigedo uh, and showing positive trends 
to the world, allow us to think about protecting the Gulf of California, to protecting other areas that were very impacted, but still have some signs of recovery. So Mexico could be an example of conservation, how we can uh, change the way to use resources and to also use them in a sustainable way, like diving or uh, yeah, photography, not fishing, just uh, getting the benefit without affecting the ecosystem. Having the opportunity to come to see Shepard allows us to go to the places that we need to go. Allows us to explore new places, to sample areas that normally we are not able to go, even to set some receivers in unexplored areas. So it has been very special for us and we are super thankful that we are able to collaborate and I hope you will come back and we will keep working together.